have a picture of the capture. You know, that's just on the other scene where the Aver Media is uh -huh. the full screen. But anyway, exploit nerd stuff aside, uh, we are out to match one. It's gonna be oh. Diddy from. Wait. Okay, yeah, ADHD playing uh, DDD versus Patrick eighty three using Pac Man. This is the first Pac Man I think we've seen. I think Pac Man has a lot of potential. We're just not really seen it just yet. Actually, is it? Wait. Oh, yeah, okay, ADHD is yeah. using DDD. All right, just making sure, because I knew he played Pink DDD and Brawl on the side a little bit. One of Pac-Man's best moves is that neutral B. Uh, I was really kind of afraid before the game came out, because they didn't specify if you can, like, cancel the, the rotation and hold on to the best items. Yeah, but you can. But you can. Uh, two of the best items that Pac-Man has is the, uh, oh, he missed the trampoline. You can jump on the trampoline three times, three. but if you can't see it, all you have to do is just go up and not move left or right and you'll hit it. But, exactly. Uh, his two best neutral bees are definitely the key and the Galaga ship. So the Galaga ship uh, will fly around. You can combo off of it, but the key is fast and strong as hell. So it's a great kill move. There's the Galaga ship right there. If he uses it correctly, he should be able to combo off of it. Uh, oh no, he's going to go for the key. Okay, so the key, really solid move. Hopefully he'll wait to use it. Oh, he'll just go right through the gore. Look at that. Like 30 damage off that key. It's ridiculous. Such a good move. And it comes out extremely quick. There's his dash attack. Uh, he has a number of attacks that he goes into, uh, like, that 3D old-school Pac-Man. I love that. That's love my it. favorite part about Pac-Man uh, Pac is that little flavor they added. Yeah. ADHD trying to play this long-range Gordo game. Two for three. Oh, gets back on. Nice. Uh, I think it was a four there. Yep, and uh, now DDD's... Ooh. Wow, okay, the drop fire, the fire hydrant. Oh, and then he just... The swag pulling up the items as the water carried him up. That was cool. Yeah, Patrick definitely a player who's really explored Pac-Man. Nice. Excuse me, a lot. He was thinking about making his tag Pac-Trick. <laughs> so, got a lot of love for this character, he does. And you can also check this guy out on Twitch. He streams quite a bit. So, yeah. if you're liking this Pac-Man, there's probably a lot more to come soon. Definitely. Uh, one of the best Pac-Mans I've seen, though, is Coney's Pac-Man. Yeah. His Pac-Man has jukes. He uses the side B and will just juke you out with these spinning kind of attacks. I his Pac-Man is so nice. But I really love the neutral B usage here by Pat. Nice Hydrant. Okay, charging that. He likes the key because it's a KO move too. Mm -hmm. Oh, throwing the down smash preemptively, probably oh, anticipating no. ADHD to roll into him. But ADHD very comfortably in the lead right now. I don't think he's stressing too much. Oh, the Gordo. Slowly wow. creeping in there. And Gordos are so deadly because they like, they bounce almost in place, but they just move, like it's so hard to dodge them and they do so much damage. But you can hit them and send them back. It's just a risk you have to take. Oh no. Oh, yep. okay. okay, and three. Wow, okay, the, all right. The Never third mind. jump of it is ridiculous. You yeah, it goes back. really yeah. far. Ooh, all yep. right, uses the melon to send that Gordo back and kill him. All right, so 121% for Pac-Man though, but he could bring this back. We're playing Smash. Wow, the water pushing him into the range with the grab. Oh. Very nice stuff. We've seen Pat use the water to great effect. Oh, all right. Could have had an opportunity there to do a uh, pivot forward tail, pivot smash off the water push, but uh, he didn't get it. Dash tag not safe on shield. He's going to get grabbed for that. Now Pat has to play like Got the key. The Wizard of Oz right now. He's down 100%. Oh, just wow. barely gets him. The grab range is sick. Not used to seeing many characters able to outrange DDD's grab. And he's just always going for that key every single time. It's the key to victory, it's man. The key to victory. Oh, and he hit, connects with it, and all of a sudden he's back in this game. But unfortunately, the the Hydra actually knocked him off stage. That's going to give ADHD some stage control. Oh no, Pat, Ooh. don't tell me you had. Oh! No, he could have staged He just it. threw that away in the middle of a comeback. ADHD picking up game one. And that was a solid comeback, though. And with that key, I mean, you gotta land, what, two, three, four keys, maybe, tops, to come back into a game? It does that much damage, it's that quick, it's so it, hard No, to it, it does 15, it doesn't do 30. Oh, it doesn't? So, yeah, no, I'm oh, pretty sure it does 15. 30. It's still fast and kills and ridiculous. Yeah, good. it's a good move. It's a great move. Yeah. Whenever you're, when are you going to do that? Um, Let's I do it look, after the set. After the set, I'll go. I'll do it. This is game one, so game two and then possibly game three. All right, so I got to play Zuko next. I'll be hopping off. Uh, but let's finish this set up here between Pat and ADHD. All right, so it's 1-0 for ADHD. Winning game one with Diddy Kong versus Pac-Man on Final Destination. I mean, uh, not Diddy Kong. King DDD. King DDD. Very used to just saying instinctively that ADHD is playing Diddy Kong. For those of you guys unfamiliar with him, 
He is the best Diddy Kong in the world in Super Smash Bros. Brawl. Absolutely. So Without definitely an extremely talented Smash player. Mm -hmm. Ooh, those mods. Yeah, thanks mods for holding it down. I haven't been looking at the chat. Yeah, we weren't we weren't paying attention. Whatever happened. Thanks mods. Yeah, aka okay, Pat. King Diddy Kong. <laughs> All right, let's make uh, my man Ben Benson. Yo, mod as well. Shout outs to Ben Benson. Okay, we're out to game two. Pat back, switching back. to Yoshi. Okay, Yoshi. Yoshi getting definitely a lot of buffs in this game. He can act out of shield. He's stronger. I would say his dash attack is extremely good now. His back air is solid as hell. He can do a ton of damage on shield with his back air and his down air. Uh, just a, 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 such an improved character. Yeah, they really went to great lengths to buff Yoshi in this mm -hmm. game. Oh, and you can do a ton of damage on shields with your down B. Yep, if breaks you, almost the full yeah, shield. If you hit with uh, the initial like rising hit of up B, and then I'm sorry, down B, and then the actual hit of it, you can pretty much break like almost anyone's shield with it. It's crazy. And I would say the eggs have been buffed too. They but, uh, I, probably have. Yeah, they, I'm not a Yoshi man, but I would say they look a lot better than they were. They are a lot they go quicker. They so fast. Yeah. yeah. So you can. I, I. I'm sure Raptor is abusing the hell out of that anytime. He yeah, can. he really. He yeah. did really well at uh, the tournament last weekend. Yeah, considering how much he would just you know throw eggs at you and brawl, I'm sure he's <laughs> going after everyone with eggs in this game. Ooh, and rising onto the stage with that down air, a ton of damage, and then and falls a up combo, the air, no yeah. less. That looks like it was a true combo too. Yoshi's down air is certainly no joke in this game. Oh, charging forward smash. He's going to eat a Gordo for that. Uh, all right, air dodges. Oh, using the egg to reflect that Gordo back at him. Trying to do it again, but the Gordo went away. Oh, and that was, what was that, a forward tilt into the Gordo? I'm not even sure. Falling up air, wow. Looks like Pat definitely is using his matchup knowledge from Brawl versus DDD. To his advantage here, he played against Atomist a lot in the oh. early game. Wow, I'm glad for Yoshi that the egg roll can hit Gordo's away like yeah. that. Using some jabs. Oh, just nearing right in his face. Yeah, Gordo's are so bad against hitboxes. And also, uh, I don't know if ADHD knows how you cancel uh, DD's up B in this game. You need to do up B again instead of hitting down like you did in Brawl. Oh, oh. It's, yeah, it's That's very weird. interesting. I killed myself twice on Prison Tower with it. Uh, Running in there with that just raw dash attack. And I don't even know what that was. Up air. Kill. Up air? Yep. Kill. I love how you can just normal die off the top now. It's not always a star KO or a screen slam. Yeah. And these guys back to the far away game. And both of them just content to throw projectiles. But yes, I think that does not favor DDD &D because yeah. any hitbox, Gordos will just come flying right back at him. Yep. Ooh. Gets right in on him, gets a throw, gonna get some stage control. Oh! The back air gets sucked right in. Oh no! <laughs> Dude, it's so crazy that they're like, yeah, King DDD just should only throw Gordos. Just forget all those other enemies, just only Gordos. Oh, the inhale? Okay. ADHD cutting it short just as Pat decided it was time to try to punish that. And this is a much closer game than we saw earlier. Oh wow, that back air striking clean. Yeah, good recognition from Pat, seeing that ADHD was going in with some craziness with that dash attack. Just stuff it real clean with the aerial. And there to back air. Oh no, oh alright. He's able to fall back to the ground. Yoshi has really good aerials in this game, man. Mm -hmm. Each of them is so solid. <sighs> We haven't seen a here. ton of edge guarding from him, but he seems pretty comfortable on the stage. I'm sure he's not going to go for it. Oh, nice. He was just high enough where he used that suck, you know, the wind box to get in on him, but he wasn't low enough to get sucked into his mouth. That was pretty smart. Both characters are pink in this match. Oh! Not something you see too often. I'm loving the... Actually, I feel like I'm seeing a ton of pink color swaps There's being so used. There's so many yeah. in Smash 4. DK, uh, Robin, these two, and wow, that just barely killed off the top, I feel like. Yep. And we're going to go to game three. Pat putting himself on the board. 1-1. One, one. Uh, you got to love these intense game three sets, man. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. All right, let's see if uh, the Yoshi change will stay. Oh, no. Is he going... Did he go back to Pac-Man? Why? No. I was really enjoying watching his Yoshi. Yeah, guys, we're not going to be murder, uh, modding anybody else, I'm sure. So it looks like the Pac-Man change is happening. I, 
I don't know. I was really enjoying watching his uh, Yoshi uh, go at it, and he was a lot more successful with it. But it looks like we're getting that Pac-Man change. So interesting. Yeah, I don't know if you would consider King Dedede's back air buffed, because, I mean, his brawl back air was uh, one of his staple moves. Yeah, I uh, miss. I definitely miss the kick, yeah, man. The kick, I think, was better, but we'll see. I, I think it was, for sure. Yeah. yeah, but nonetheless, the new one is still good. Ooh. And, yeah, I'm very surprised that Pat switched Why? back to Pac-Man. I'm thinking maybe he just kind of understood how to... Uh, deal with Gordos with items, and so maybe he's gonna learn use what he learned with Yoshi, but like that right there, because he wasn't really doing that game one at all. He was really just focusing on getting the key and throwing it at him, which is what he's doing now. But now I guess he's realizing I'm just not gonna get the key every time. I'll get the apple or the melon, one of the early ones, and just throw it at the Gordo because it's you know strong enough to do so. ADH is gonna need to learn how to use DDD's moveset up close rather than just relying on throwing these projectiles. Yeah. Being that Pat is oh pretty keen to just how you should there. deal with them. And that's the, ba the back throw off stage. Use the side B to get a, hit that Gordo, and it's just barely safe. Oh. Yeah, Pac-Man's a really solid character. Uh, yeah, he I definitely just, think he just he's pretty good. He's unique, Ooh. and you gotta figure out what to do with him. I mean, no one's really figured him out just yet. Um, I think a lot of people were saying that he was, you know, a little clunky or just uh, weird to use, but I definitely don't agree. Oh, oh so close, but no cigar. I think he was actually out of the range, and ADHD expanding his body with the shield is mm -hmm. what made it look like yeah. he just blocked it in the nick of time. But wow! Wow, he's kicking the hydrant knight. This okay. This is the Pac-Man we want to see here. Instead of getting his face, he needs to use all these things that he can summon and just throw them at King Dedede. There's really no reason for him to get in King Dedede's face until he's like off stage. Yes, if he just keeps playing nice. his camp game, it will work out. Dedede from far away, not so scary when you can just hit those Gordos back if you challenge them. Ooh. All right, down throw. And he's great. I, I love the usage of a Hydrant to keep him, you know, King DDD, uh, King DDD from out below him. Because mm -hmm. DDD won't challenge it, but then if DDD just goes off to the side a little bit, the water will push him away, so it makes him safe. Yeah, we saw the water actually counting against Patrick there as he yeah. uh, got pushed from the water uh, while doing his forward smash into DDD's grab range. Oh, no. Wow, dead even game. It was 122 apiece, and then Pat yeah. reading the dash grab rolls yeah. away. Much earlier, or much closer than game one when he went Pac Man. Uh, yeah, his hydrant is actually his down B, not his down air. Yep. His down, down air is, is just kicks. It's the four kicks, kind of like Snake Stairmaster. Yeah, <laughs> Stairmaster, man. Um, but yeah, the hydrant is so good because you can even kick that and throw, hit it at him, and then you have your, you know, your key ready and just throw that. I think Pat is kind of. This is the first time we're kind of seeing him hold on to that key a little more. Sometimes we're just. He's kind of just throwing the key immediately. Mm -hmm. uh, where well, you want to save it, and now this is. Oh, ooh, all right. So the melon moves really slowly. Interesting. Yeah, each of the fruits has its own unique use. Mm -hmm. It's not just that the higher charge. Oh, the and running up smash. Wow, the That'll kill. No, that was a Gordo throw with the hydrant pushing him. Oh, what? Yeah. Oh, wow. Okay. Nice. I looked like he did up smash, but that was that was very smart. Yeah, because that can definitely work against you. I, uh, I would like to see more of the uh, the Galaga ship too. Because the gal, I think the key is way better for later in the in the percentages. You know, you don't want to be using the key too much. You don't want to stale it out. But the the Galaga ship, you can do a lot more. Oh! oh, and he just rolls right into that forward smash. That was really and unfortunate. And throws away his last stock. Ah, oh. it looks like the switch not working.